Hey guys, what's up? So I'm actually sitting on my floor right now and behind me is my whole new display of plush. I'm going to back up in a minute and pan over the thing so that you can see all of it. But um, yeah, so anyway, when I first started getting really popular on this channel, I asked you guys like what kind of stuff did you want to see and I had quite a few people comment that they wanted me to tour my entire plush collection and you know tell you like what arcades that I got them from, where they came from, stuff like that. Um, but I really couldn't do that because a lot of it was actually just like packed away in boxes and bags because I only had those two shelves that were behind me that you guys would see in my videos and then they got full and I didn't have anywhere else to put them. So I made it my mission to go out and buy some shelves and put them together and have like a really nice display. So let me back up and show you guys the whole thing and then I'm going to go through each shelf one by one and tell you where all of them came from. So this might be kind of a long video, but like I said, a few people actually asked for it and I wanted to make sure that I did it as soon as I could. And now that's finally ready, I'm gonna show you guys. So yeah. All right guys, so I can't even get this whole thing in one shot because it goes from one end of my wall to the other. But yeah, this is the finished project of all four bookshelves. If you're curious, I got them from Walmart, actually. They're only like $30 a piece, so that was really cool. And they fit perfectly, exactly four of them, from one end to the other. So yeah, let me go through all of them and tell you where they came from. Alright, so starting at the top corner, the first three that are up here, actually none of these came from claw machines. Not everything on this display is necessarily from an arcade, although most of it is. The Stitch, I got back in high school when I lived in Florida and we used to go to Disney World a lot. So he just came from a gift shop from Disney World. He is just a ginormous stitch. One of my favorite plush ever. This Pikachu, I believe came from Wish. He was a gift along with this Toothless. This was also a uh, Valentine's Day gift from... It came from Build-A-Bear. So those three, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then the Relacama. I believe that was the first Rilakkama that I ever won from the round one in Bloomingdale. So then on to the next shelf is Yokai Watch plush, which I know nothing about Yokai Watch. I just won it because I could. That came from the round one in Fox Valley. And then the My Little Pony doll was actually a gift from Justin. He won a lot of plush that he just randomly gave me because he has way too much of it. Um, this black cube cow thing was a redemption that I got from um, Dave and Buster's. I got it with tickets that I won. And then the minion came from the round one in Bloomingdale from a UFO catcher. Going on to the next one, um, these two Hello Kitties, this one and this one here, they're both actually the exact same denim Hello Kitty. They both came from round one in Bloomingdale on two separate occasions, but it was just set where it was really winnable, so I got both of them. And then the one in the middle that looks really similar is also a denim Hello Kitty, but that one was a prize from Tereba, actually. And then the little frog, that was a 25 cent Walmart machine win. Then the Togepi and the Pikachu were gifts that someone got me off of Wish as well. This little Pikachu right here I got from a very, very rigged claw in a bowling alley arcade. Um, I finally just hit payout and got it. And then second to the last shelf here, I've got these two Valentine's Day unicorns. Normally I wouldn't necessarily display stuff that is kind of outdated as far as it being an older holiday. But I just really like these unicorns, so I think I'm going to keep them even though they're technically Valentine's Day. But I just think they're cute, so they're going to stay up there. And then right next to them, um, oh yeah, they came from Walmart Claws. My bad. <laughs> anyway, yeah, just normal Gamer Green Walmart Claws. Um, same with these two right here. The Bunny and the Sloth, same thing, just Sugarloaf Machines from a Walmart. Um, actually, I think... No, the bunny was actually from a CC's pizza, but it was still a, just a regular sugar loaf machine. So the bunny was from CC's and the sloth was from Walmart. Um, those are Easter plush. Easter just ended, so I still have them up. But I'll probably be replacing them with something else as, you know, I win more stuff. And then this shelf is all just um, more sugar loaf stuff. Um... I'm probably going to get rid of most of this as time goes on, but I didn't have anything to fill these shelves with, but as I win more stuff, I'm sure. These guys will probably be going, that's why they're on the lower shelf, because, you know, they're a little older. I've got the reindeer, 
from Christmas, and then I've got the Have My Heart Bear from Valentine's Day. Um, the Lamb, that one is a little more recent. That's from Easter. And then um, the Smurf, and I think that's a troll. Hold on. I don't even know my characters. This is terrible. Uh, I can't find her tag. I don't want to knock her over. Oops, I already did. Jeez, I'm bad at this. Okay, they're both Smurfs. <laughs> As you can tell, I haven't seen the movie. But yeah, um, all of those were from either Walmart or grocery store claw machines as well. And then here on the bottom shelf, this green M&M actually has a funny story because I was at a grocery store uh, called Meyer by me and they have a sugar loaf machine and I was going for something completely different. And the green M&M was in the way and in the process of going for what I was trying to go for, I just ended up knocking this green M&M in the chute and was like, all right, whatever, and just walked away with that. Um, and then these three, I don't specifically remember where they came from, just generic Sugarloaf machines as well. Um, the Hoodie Bear is one of my favorites, though, because they're a little sentimental to me. I've got a lot of the Halloween, like, Hoodie Bears, actually, and I probably won't ever get rid of those because I got those ones when I first started really getting back into clawing and actually filming myself. Um, and yeah, they're also just really cute. I mean, like, seriously, look at that. They're just adorable. Alrighty, so on to the next bookcase. Um, the Potamon Digimon plush, that was a win from Tereba. I've got a lot of my Tereba wins on this channel, actually, if you scroll back to some of my older videos. Because um, Tereba actually records everything that you do, so I posted a lot of videos of me winning stuff if you want to see me winning these prizes. And then the ferret was um, some tickets that I cashed in from the round one in Bloomingdale. It was 3,000 tickets. I finally saved up to get one, so that was cool. And then this pink bunny, I'm sure you all know from the whole bunny squad thing with the crane couple and Lissy Noel. I finally got one for myself, also from the round one in Bloomingdale, so... That was super duper exciting, and it gets to go on the top shelf. And the feathers over there are actually from um, my bird that we have. It's a macaw, and it has really giant tail feathers, so when they fall, I collect them, and I just thought they were pretty, so they go there. Anywho, okay, so on to the next shelf. Um, the This black Hello Kitty, and then on the opposite side, the pink Hello Kitty, they're a matching set. They both came from the round one in Bloomingdale. The blue Hello Kitty is from a stack and grab, also from round one in Bloomingdale. Um, Justin won that for me in, I believe, his first video that we ever did together at round one. And then the lion Hello Kitty was just a random plush that he gave me because he won it and didn't need it. So, And I really like it. I think it's adorable. I mean, look how cute that is. It's wearing a lion costume. And then the uh, Adventure Time plush, those were from... Strangely, an Elot machine in the Fox Valley round one that has an insanely strong grip. Pretty much every single time that I played it, I got something in one try. I even got a bunch of two in ones on it. Um, wasn't an instance that I was recording. I just was playing because I was bored, and somehow this thing is set at like almost 100% strength. So, yeah, I've got a bunch of these Adventure Time plush. So then, next shelf. This uh, cinnamon roll plush right here is from Tereba. That win is also on my channel somewhere. The small pink donut Justin gave me, and then the big pink donut I won from a Walmart claw machine that it's not Sugarloaf. I forget what brand it is, but it's really, really super rigged. I just got lucky that I was able to get the claw in the hole of the donut and get it. Otherwise, I've never won anything out of that machine at that Walmart. Um, this yellow Hello Kitty is pretty special to me because that is the first thing that I ever won all by myself from a round one. That was also from Bloomingdale, and it's in the video that Justin and I did together the first time we went to round one, so you can see me winning that. Poop Emoji came from Tilt Studios, so spoiler alert because that video isn't actually out yet, but yeah, that's where that came from. And then this lobster right here. That actually just came from my work. We had, like, a discount bin of random stuff that we were trying to get rid of, and one of my employees bought it for me because I thought it was cute. So that just goes there because it's special to me as well. And then this Batman 
Um, that was from Dave & Buster's. We redeemed tickets for that one. The Harley Quinn, that was from the round one in Fox Valley. You can see me winning that on my grand opening video. The um, Scorpion, I almost said lobster because it's red. Um, the Scorpion, that was a trade that I did with Aaron Freeze, and I've got a video of me unboxing it if you want to know more about it. And then this Rudolph was actually a present from Gamer Green. Um, I'm going to go down to this bottom shelf very quick and show you the reindeer. I actually only have seven on the shelf, but I got eight codes from the reindeer because when I was playing a game, somebody randomly decided to rip the tag off and leave it laying by the machine and it still had the code on it. So I won seven reindeer and found one extra code. So when you get eight reindeer codes, then you can give them to Gamer Green and they mail you this awesome Rudolph plush. So I'm really glad I was able to get that. Because Gamer Green does a lot of cool stuff like that where you can collect codes and get stuff. Um, like Valentine's Day, they did the Have My Heart thing where they would send you candy if you got so many codes from their Valentine's Day plush. So that's really cool too. And then here's my little Bun Bun collection and a few Neko Atsumes as well. Honestly, I don't remember exactly where each one of the Bun Buns came from. I know the Gorilla definitely came from Fox Valley, though. And then pretty much the rest of them came from Bloomingdale. Um, some of them were all in the same occasion from the Stack and Grab machine that they have in Bloomingdale. And then, like, one or two of them we got on another trip. Um, the little ones, like this cow... And then the polar bear and the dog, those were from the stack and grab machine at Bloomingdale. I really like that machine because a lot of times you can grab like one of the big bun buns and then the little bun buns will get trapped in it because the claw on that stack and grab is like super huge. So you'll get like a three or a four and one on that game and that's awesome. Um, I actually have a video of Justin getting a four and one and getting this cow with it on my channel. So that was really exciting. And then the Neko Atsumes, I've got one of each on display here. I got those out of a one prong claw machine um, and the Bloomingdale round one. And then of course there's the reindeer that I already showed you. Okay, third shelf. So up top we've got this giant pink cat. That was from one of the 10 credit machines just like this pink bunny over here um, at the round one in Bloomingdale. I was having a little bit of trouble getting it, and so one of the workers was kind enough to set it for me and made it kind of easy, and then I got it on the very next shot, so that was cool. I've got that on video in one of, one of my videos up here. The crown that it's wearing is just this little inflatable crown that I got from uh, CeCe's Pizza, again, um, on their blackout machine. I won a minor prize for getting 95% on blackout, and so I got the crown because, I mean, of course, it's a princess crown. Gotta get that. And then... This cupcake up here, that was a present from Justin as well. I think he won it from Gameworks. I, I don't remember exactly. He was at an arcade and he was like, hey, what do you think about this? And I was like, that's really cute. So he just got it. <laughs> um, the snake, that one is really, really special to me. It actually goes across all the way down here. Um, and the stomach is like a pouch. That was the first thing that I ever won from Tereba. Although it's a little odd because I technically didn't win it. Like, I went back and watched the videos, and I don't see where I won it, but it tripped something to pop up on the screen that I won it, and they honored it and just sent it to me, even though I didn't argue it. So, that's technically the first thing that I ever won from Tereba. And then the, um, the giant Sushi Plus were also from Tereba. I really like playing that game. It was another one of those one-prong games where you have to get a ring. Like, it has, like, an O-ring, and it's hanging off of a peg, and you have to pull it off of the peg using the one prong from the UFO catcher. So those were really cool. Those are from Tereba. Um, <clears throat> on to the next shelf. All four of these plush came from the round one in Bloomingdale, although every single one of them was from a completely separate trip. So, the gray one, I believe, was most recent that I got, I think. Um, I don't believe I was recording. That was just kind of a random thing. And then um, the Teacup Kitty, that video is already up on my channel of me getting that one. Um, the other hamster is 
in a video that I haven't posted yet. It was just a, a random round one video. And then Stitch, I think I have that one posted. Actually, no. Just kidding. That Stitch came from Fox Valley, I think. Or Bloomingdale. I have one from Fox Valley and one from Bloomingdale each, and they're both the same plush. I don't remember which one, but I've won them from both. Anyway, on to the next shelf. So, then we have my alpaca collection. So, all four of the big alpacas came from the round one in Bloomingdale. The rainbow one came from a ping pong dropper, and Justin and I both have that video posted on our channel. It was ridiculous. How many ping pong balls it took to get this dang thing. It's just, it's ridiculous. Um, we finally got it though, because every time I went there, I said, I've got to get this rainbow alpaca. I have to get this rainbow alpaca. So finally, we just kept throwing ping pong balls at this thing until we got it, and we did. So that one is really special to me. Um, and then the middle one, that's just a sugar loaf alpaca. They've got a bunch of those. Um, and I think Justin just kind of randomly threw that at me one day too because I like the color pink and he had it. So yeah, that's where that one came from. And then this next shelf here. So um, all four of these Hello Kitties in the back came from the round one in Bloomingdale. The pink one and the blue one are a matching set that came out of the same machine. They just kind of alternate which one they set it with. And then this other... Uh, like blue and pink one right here, I think that either came from a big choice or a stack and grab um, when Justin and I f did a, a video at round one for the first time. And then this brown one is pretty much the same setup as this blue and pink one. Um, there's actually like a vanilla colored one that goes with this brown one and I've never been able to win it and I don't think they even have it anymore. So I'm really sad that I wasn't able to get like two matching sets of pink and blue and then chocolate and vanilla. But Oh well, such is life. You can't win them all, of course. Um, this Garfield was a gift that Justin was giving out when we did our fan meet at Fox Valley. He was giving everyone plush, and I looked at him and I was like, well, do I get one too? And so I got a pink Garfield, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then this dog, this one came off of Tereba, and um, I'm not going to show you right now because I don't think I actually have the battery still in it, but this tail in the back right here, this moves... And so, when you put batteries in it and you clap or make any noise, the tail starts spinning around in circles and the dog actually just starts rolling over and it's really cute. I do have a video on the, of that on my channel if you want to see what it looks like. I did an unboxing of it too. It was probably one of my first Terrible unboxings ever actually. So you can go look for that if you want to see what this puppy looks like when it's moving because it's really funny. Um, Alright, next shelf is... I don't know if this cat has a name, I just call it the Big Fat Cat. <laughs> that one came from the round one in Bloomingdale, and then the Big Fat Dog also came from the round one in Bloomingdale. And then in the middle, the Sumiko Garashi one, that came from Fox Valley round one, and you can see me winning that in my grand opening video. That's where that one's from. And then down here, I've got some more generic Sugarloaf plush. These ones are really special to me, like I was telling you earlier with the hoodie bears. Um, all three of the hoodie bears and the scaredy cat and then the Nestle 100 grand bear. They're all from Walmart Claws when I first started getting back into claw machines. Um, if you saw my Q&A video, you'll know that I said that I've pretty much been into claw machines like my entire life, but I, you know, didn't really play them as much as I got older. And then once I discovered that there's this whole YouTube niche of people playing claw machines and that maybe it was okay for adults to play them again. I started getting way more into it. Um, and these are some of the first wins that I got when I started recording and all of that and doing YouTube. And so these guys are just really special to me. They're just kind of, you know, sentimental because when I started getting back into claw machines and all of that, yada yada, yeah. So they're probably going to stay there even though... You know, they're Halloween themed, they're from 2016, but I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of those guys because, yeah. Alrighty, so onto this last shelf. We've got this really cute otter holding a shell. Um, Justin and I redeemed tickets for that at the round one in Bloomingdale. And then the Hello Kitty, the uh, one with the blue hat, that was a prize that I won from Prophet of Claws among some other prizes, 
That's one of the plush that I got from him. I have an unboxing of that as well. If you want to look at that up on my channel. The giant Hello Kitty next to it was another random thing that Justin got for me from, I think, Gameworks, along with that cupcake over there. Honestly, I really don't know exactly where it came from, but yeah. Um, and then, yes, that is a Cthulhu plush. <laughs> that was a gift that I think was ordered from Wish. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, that was a gift from a friend. And then... This bunny right here, whose ears just will not stay up no matter what I do, but that's what it's supposed to look like. It's just, as soon as I let go, its ears flop down, so maybe I'll, like, attach some sticks to it or something. But this one is definitely one of my favorite plush, like, my prized possession of plush, because I won it from Tereba. <laughs> and, um, it was another one of those peg games, just like these two over here, where you just had to get the O-ring off of the peg, but for whatever reason... I just kept barely moving it, just a teensy, teensy little bit each time where I kept telling myself, I just need to hit it one more time and it's going to fall down, just one more time. <laughs> and I kept loading money onto my account and it was ridiculous. I don't know why it took so long to get it, but I was so bound and determined and I finally did. So yeah, this one is just really special to me because of how much it took to get it. And it's just super cute. I mean, seriously, look at those ears again. Like... It's, yeah, and it's it's so squishy. I I love it. When, when they sent it to me, it was vacuum sealed, and it was almost flat, like, because that's how squishy it is. It was ridiculous. So, yeah. Um, and then my Pomeranium collection, also known as Fluff Dog. Um, I'm trying to remember which colors came from where I think... The white one came from Fox Valley, and then the other two I got at Bloomingdale, but I could be wrong. It's hard to keep track of these, you guys. Um, but either way, they're all from Fox, or Fox Valley. They're all from round one. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, so, next shelf. Um, a bit of a spoiler alert on here, because I don't have my Telt video up yet. But the, um, the Bonnie... And the Angry Bird plush I got from a little claw machine at Tilt, so, yeah. And then, um, I just have another Adventure Time plush. I just threw it up there because I have multiples of it and I thought it was cute. Um, I don't actually watch the show yet. I really need to start doing that. And then some more of my bigger Relacamas. Um, the Panda Bear one, I think, was from, like, the second video that Justin and I did at the Bloomingdale round one. Um... And then the yellow-eared one was from a video that I did at round one by myself. Although Justin was filming, but it was just my video. And then the flower one, I believe that was from the exact same video. That was just my, um, like, round one adventures video, if you want to see me winning that. And then all of these little ducks and turtles are from a uh, $1 claw at the Fox Valley Mall, actually, inside the mall. Before the round one ever opened, I used to hang out at that mall a lot. I was, like, stalking the round one. And I found one machine that has ducks and one machine that has turtles. They're a dollar play, but it's a win every time thing. So I kind of felt like it was worth it because you know you're going to get something every time. Um, and, yeah, like, I was going for this princess one right here and ended up getting the pirate and the other color princess one. Like, this one is got a purple shell. Whereas this one here has a pink shell. So I was really going for the pink one, of course, pink. Um, it took me that many tries to finally get the pink one that I wanted because they're all mixed up and jumbled. And yeah, so I kept grabbing the wrong things. And then with the ducks, the blue one, the kind of paint spattery one, the other blue one, and then the, just the normal orange one. Like, none of those I was actually going for. <laughs> if you watch that video, it's called, like, Random Mall Adventures. Um... I just got them because it was the only thing that it would grab. But I had a good time doing it. They're really cute. Um, I'm hoping to add to that collection because there's a lot of machines that have these little rubber characters. So, yeah. I'm going to hopefully keep adding to that and maybe have, like, a whole shelf of just these guys. So, on to the next shelf. So, I am pretty, pretty, almost 100% positive that every single one of these plush came from the exact same video. Um, it's on Justin's channel from Round 1 in Bloomingdale. I don't remember which one it was exactly, but um, some of them I won, and then some of them he won. We were kind of, you know, going back and forth on it. 
But yeah, we were able to get these two cats on the left and right there, a matching set. They were in a big choice machine. And then also the Kirby and I forget what its name is, but the orange one from Kirby. Um, those also came from a big choice machine. And then the Shiba Inus, those were also from Big Choice, and I remember for a fact that I won those myself. <laughs> um, all of that was from round one in Bloomingdale. So then, second to last shelf here, I've got the white Coralacoma. Um, I'll just, hopefully he doesn't fall over if I move this so you guys can actually see what it looks like, because it's got this pouch. Um believe that came from round one in Bloomingdale as well. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> um, this big Relacama, I... Yes, that also came from round one in Bloomingdale, because I remember that was from my um, round one adventures video that I did by myself randomly. And then this bath time Relacama, I don't actually have that footage out yet. It's just kind of bonus round one footage. I got it randomly when I went there and won a couple plush. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that I finally got this bath time one. They have a core Relacama as well that has like a rubber ducky, but I've yet to win that one because it's always set really funny. It's, it's just, it's really hard to get. But someday I'll get the white one. Um, and then the Secret Life of Pets dog, that one came from that same super duper rigged e-claw at the bowling alley I was talking about earlier that I got the Pikachu. I got those both on the same day. And then the Yoshi also came from a super rigged e-claw at um, the Bloomingdale round one. So yeah. Um, oh, and then of course I forget its name, but this is a Relacama character and it's wearing a panda suit and has an apple. That came from round one in Bloomingdale as well. And then very last shelf, um, Nothing super duper special about these per se, they're just generic um, Sugarloaf ones as well. Although I chose to put them up on my display because I do, you know, like them. They weren't just random, oh I'm just getting this just to get it or anything. The Pink Cow was just, it was an interesting win um, and it's pink so I like it, it's super cute. The Polar Bear I'm very partial to because it's just one of the ones that I've been wanting to win for a really long time around Christmas and I could never find a machine that had it, and I finally did. So I really like this polar bear. Polar bears are cute. Um, same with the penguin. That was around, you know, Christmas time as well. And anytime I found a machine that had one, it was always buried. And when I finally found one that was actually winnable, I, of course, had to go for it. Um, and then this frog, I got um, around the same time that I got, like, all of these guys when I was first getting back into clawing. That was from a claw machine um, in a Jewel Osco grocery store, actually. It was just another, um, you know, Sugarloaf claw machine. So, yeah, that is everything. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, so that was a video. That's my entire plush collection behind me. Technically not the entire collection. I do have some other random plush that are sitting in bags and boxes. Not too many though, I was able to get most of them up here. Um, but some of the ones are just kind of like random wins that aren't really that special to me or anything like that. Those didn't go up on the display. Most of it's like my round one and Tereba stuff. But yeah, so that's most of my <laughs> plush collection that you guys finally got to see. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below and also let me know what kind of stuff you want to see in the future. Of course, I'm still building this channel up and I want to know what kind of stuff you guys are interested in. So yeah. Thank you for watching, I love you, stay fabulous, and until next time.